Hey guys, the dude's corner here. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to solve commutators. Now let's first ask, what is a commutator? A commutator is when you swap only two specific pieces on a puzzle. So this can be very helpful for solving 5x5, 6x6, 7x7, any size puzzle up because you can swap just two specific center pieces on the puzzle without interfering with any of the other pieces. So an example would be something like this. As you can see, I've swapped just these two. And I'll show you how this will work. Okay, real quick, you probably just noticed that there's a large um, difference in the quality that just changed. The audio might be a little different even with the lighting. That's because when I was editing this video, I lost a lot of footage. I don't know why or where it went, so you're gonna keep seeing this setup and the previous setup a lot um, because I lost a lot of stuff. So um, yeah, so it's gonna kind of be a little interesting when I'm filming this. Sorry about that. Anyway, um, how commutators are gonna work is like I said, you're gonna be swapping just two specific pieces on a puzzle. And it's actually going to be a three cycle, except you're not going to be able to see the third piece being used. Now I know this might seem weird, but just keep watching and you'll be able to understand as we go. So how we're going to swap these two pieces is we're gonna make sure that they are aligned right underneath each other. So for instance, when I bring this piece down into here, it's gonna be in the previous spot where the last one was. So say if the piece was over here, you just want to bring it over that way it's lined up just underneath each other. It doesn't have to be in the middle. Um, like if this was here, you could also bring it here. That's fine. Just have them underneath each other. And then what you're going to do is you're going to bring this down, this piece down, and then you're going to be replacing it with one of the other two options, one of these other two edge pieces up here. So to bring this over to one of these options, you can either go turn the front to the right or turn it to the left. It doesn't matter, I'm just going to the right. That way we can bring this layer down into here so that this piece becomes the piece that's gonna be put up here. So to bring, so then what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring this layer back up into here. So by doing this is we're gonna turn the front back and then we're gonna bring the front, the middle layer up into the top. That way this is back up into here. And then we're gonna turn the front back, that way we can realign this bar up just like that. And then of course, as you can see, we'll require another front move, but that's not a problem. Now real quick, I also wanna give you an idea of what will happen if you have like these two that need to swap. And to do this, you're just gonna align them up next to each other. Now I could do this, but because I already demonstrated that case, I'm just gonna demonstrate this one, that way you guys can understand. Um, so you're gonna slice it down right here because they're already already lined up. Now we can turn the front either this way, that way we can be replacing with this piece here, or if we bring it this way, we'd be replacing it with this piece right here. I'm just gonna do this way, it doesn't really matter once again. And you're gonna bring the middle layer down, that way this piece becomes the one that's bring, replacing it for this bar. Then you're gonna turn the front back, then you're gonna bring this piece back up into here and then you're gonna turn the front back again, that way you can bring this bar back up into here, and then turn the front back, and then this is, will require a, another U move. And the reason that requires another U move is because it's just undoing the setup that we did. Sorry, I forgot to mention that. Now, if you don't understand, that's completely fine. Um, when I first was trying to learn how to solve commutators, I couldn't really understand any of it. I just kind of was following along and, along and then figured it out on my own. Um, there's really no simple way of understanding commutators, um, but I will say just follow along what I'm doing and you'll understand and keep watching the video. Uh, I know this may seem kind of confusing, but believe me, this will make a lot more sense the farther along we go. Now I'm going to show you how to deal with corners. Now corners can be a little bit more tricky, um, and I'll show you why, uh, but they're going to work the exact same way. So you're gonna line them up right underneath each other, just like this. Then you're gonna bring bring it back down. Now this is when it comes a little more tricky, is because you have to turn it away from here 
because this piece, when you bring it back down into here, you can't re-slice this layer because there's no white corners up here to replace down into here. The only other two options are over here. So you can't, you can't bring it down like this. You have to bring it over to here because you have to replace, bring this corner down into here to replace that spot. Then when we turn the front back, we can bring this piece up into here by slicing as usual. And then we would turn the front back and then we bring in this back into here. And then of course we have to do another front move to put it back into the solved state. Okay, now I will quickly show you how to solve um, the corners when they're not already aligned. And I'm sure you could already guess that this is not going to be too hard. What you're going to do is you're just going to move them. That way they're in the same line. So either you can do a front move or you can do a U move. Doesn't matter which one. I'm just going to do a U move. That way I can show you the right side version of this case uh, since I already showed you the left. And what you're going to do, of course, is you're going to slice this down. That way this piece is down here. And now you can't turn the front like this because there's no other white piece to come down into here. So you gotta turn the front over to here. That way this corner can come down here and replace into this slot. Then you can turn the front back, bring this piece back up into here, bringing that up as well. And then you can realign the front that way this uh, pair right up here can go back. And then of course you'll have to undo the setup moves by doing a, a front move and then a U move. So that's really all you need to know for the 5x5 cases. When going up to 6x6 and 7x7, um, it's going to work the exact same way, just going to be requiring different pieces and stuff, um, but it's going to have the same similar work. If you're trying this out right now and getting frustrated, because um, that's actually what happened with me, uh, what you're probably not realizing is that what layers to slice and where to turn and that's perfectly fine because when i started once again i had trouble but no tutorial is gonna keep this tutorial straight so just keep practicing at it um just keep following along what i'm doing seeing the similar ideas of how it's working you're probably going to accidentally scramble your cube up a lot but that's okay just keep working at it eventually you'll figure out how to use it and then you'll be good Okay, so now that you understand how to do 5x5, five five, I'm going to show you how to do a bit of 6x6 six six and then 7x7. Seven seven. That way you can kind of have an understanding of how this all will work. So as you can see, we have two corner pieces that need to be realigned. Now, this is going to work the same way. Uh, you're just going to line it up so that they have the line here. Um, sorry if the lighting's bad. I don't really have a better way of doing this. And So then you're going to bring this down into here. Then you're gonna bring this away from the spot it was at, and then to bring this layer down into here. This is your replacement piece. Bring this back so that we can slice this back up, and then we'll just fix this here, just like that. And there you go, you've swapped two corners. So as you can see, it's pretty much gonna work the exact same way. So let's say we wanted to swap these two center pieces here. To do this, what you're gonna do is the same idea. You're just going to slice this down because they're already lined up. Make sure, of course, they're lined up. Slice this down. Move it out of the way. That way we can bring this one as the replacement piece down. And then you're just going to bring this back up like this. And then, of course, fix this by bringing this pair back up into here. Like that. And then, of course, doing the extra front move. Now, the last case that I will show you for 6x6 six is when you have to swap one of these inner edge pieces. And to do this, it's once again going to work the exact same way. So we're gonna to need to line them up. Um, now I've already done a lot on the side, so I'm gonna do one on the center here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring this down as usual. And then we can either rotate it to this side or this side, because it's not a corner, it doesn't matter which way specifically we turn it. Um, I'm just gonna rotate it this way. Um, and then I'm gonna bring this replacement piece down into here, turn the front back, then we can bring this layer back up, and then we can turn the front to realign this pair here, and then bring that back up into there, and then turn the front back, and then readjust the top. And once again, for seven by seven, this is all going to work the exact same way. Um, so let's say we wanted to swap these two corners here. You would turn the front to line them up like this, bring this down, 
bring this away and then bring the replacement piece down bring the front back bring this up again and then just do the exact same thing as we would before and this um, does all work for even 8x8 and up you know it's it's all gonna have the exact same idea and then once again if you if you have like something in the centers near the centers you just line them up bring this down rotate it out of the way bring the replacement piece down rotate this back bring this back up rotate the front back and then bring that back up just like that so same idea um, nothing really different so you're just gonna be performing the exact same moves just on different bigger cubes so there's just more layers and more pieces you'll have to deal with now real quick um, to finish this off I want to show you guys a solve of me just using commutators on this two last two centers for 7x7 seven seven. Um, this should work the same way for 5x5 five five, six by 6 pretty much any other cube okay so this is our two center scrambled with everything else uh, still solved. Um, now I know this is probably not what you're going to get, um, but I'm still just going to give you an idea just solving with commutators. So let's start off with we're just going to go one layer at a time. Uh, and then force, find your center so that you know which side is which color. So we have white here, blue here. So we'll start off by noticing that these two corners need to swap. Um, so we'll go ahead and do this by bringing this side down, rotating the front, bring our replacement piece down, rotate the front back, bring the bring this side back up, rotate the front, and then fix it. Okay, and that solves this one and this one. Now let's go ahead and do this piece here. And this, we got our blue already lined up here. So we'll just go ahead and do this how we would regularly. So like that, and as you can see it's in. Now we'll do this one, it's already lined up. Okay, now it's in. Now we need to do this one. Now this one we don't have a spare one um, over here, so we're gonna have to use this one, because this one's already white, and we need the blue one. So we'll line this one up over here, and then we'll do as we do before. And we'll bring the top back. As you see, we finished our first bar. Now we'll go on to the second one. And so this is the next piece that we need to do. Um, and actually, there's one right over here. So we're going to use this one. Okay, and we'll bring the top back. And as you can see, we got it in. Now we're gonna go ahead and do this one. So we'll bring this piece down into here. Okay, that one's in. Now this one we need to swap and it's already lined up. And it's in. Now we just need to do this one, and it's lined up with up here. Okay. Now we just need. Now we need to do this one right here, and it's also lined up. I think. No, it's not lined up. Okay. So then we need to bring this piece over to here. Then it's lined up. Let me just do as we would before. Okay, and then we just need to do this one here to finish our third layer, and it's lined up already. Okay, and now we go on to the fourth one, which is this piece, and we have it right up here.
Next piece is this one right here, and it's also lined up. Then we need this one. This one's not lined up, so we need to bring a center edge over to here, and we have one right there. So we can go ahead and solve for that one. And then the last one for the fourth layer is this one right here. And it is right there. So we bring it over and now we will solve for it. Okay, I appear to make a mistake. Um, <laughs> did not realize what I did there. Uh, let's go ahead and redo that. Oh, you know what? I know what I see. I see what I did. Um, this piece needs to go down into here. So line it up and then solve for it. There we go. Now I'll go ahead and do this corner. It's lined up. Then we have this one down here and this one right there. Now we have these two, and they're not already lined up, so we need to bring this one over to here. And then the last two are here. Line them up so that way they're underneath each other, and then finish it up. And there you go. And now, as you can see, we have swapped all the pieces to finish the last two centers. So there you go. That's how you do commutators. Um, if you're a little confused, um, that's okay. Because even after watching many videos, I still didn't fully understand it until I just kind of kept working on it on my own. And then eventually I figured it out. So just keep kind of working at it. Um, and eventually you will learn how to do this on your own um so the tutorials kind of just help you get a walkthrough on how to do this anyway if this video was helpful please remember to hit that like button down below and hit the subscribe button as well as those bell notifications to be notified when upcoming videos are released so thank you all so much for watching and i'll see you all in my next video